Well, check this. Searches for Taylor Swift on X, try it right now, have been blocked after the social media platform was flooded with explicit artificial intelligence generated images of the pop star. Now, the move comes after the images have been circulating this week, garnering tens of millions of views. One of them was viewed 47 million times before the account was suspended. X has said it is working to remove the images. Instagram and Threads also restricted searches for Swift's name. The White House said social media companies have an important role to play in enforcing their own rules to prevent the spread of misinformation. Armed by uh, the reports of the, of the circulation of images that you just laid out, uh, false images to be more exact, and it is alarming. So while social media companies make their own independent decisions about content management, uh, we believe they have an important role to play in enforcing, enforcing their own rules to prevent the spread of misinformation and non-consensual intimate imagery of real people. Sadly, sadly, though, too often, uh, we know that lax enforcement disproportionately impacts women, and they also impact girls, sadly, uh, who are the overwhelming targets, the overwhelming targets of online har harassment and also abuse. Now, for more on that and the rising trend of deep fakes, celebrity videos, we're joined by Mohit Rajan's media and tech consultant with thinkstart.ca. All right. Um, Let's talk about this. The images are gross for anyone who has seen them. Um, but there's a lot of gross images out there on X. You could see almost anything uh, if you really wanted to. Not going to give examples. But so why was this one suspended? But in, in the meantime, I could see like horrible war atrocities on there as well. Yeah, we're definitely in a place right now where we're seeing the Taylor effect, if nothing else, of how artificial general intelligence could potentially not only disrupt politics, but also pop culture. And pop culture, as we both know, has a little bit more of a big voice when it comes down to how things can be regulated and sounding the alarm when it comes down to technology. We've just gotten through a place where we were getting used to using, you know, cyber, uh, we were protecting ourselves from viruses and cyber attacks. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting to a place where artificial general intelligence can be used on your cell phone to create videos that are completely fake. And for most, for the most part, they're pretty good. Yeah, and, and but for with that though, like what, what's good is obviously Swifty is very popular as a group. Taylor Swift, she's a billionaire. She can make things happen as well. She has some pull, but obviously governments have even more money, more pull. Yeah. So what's to say that they can't start basically um, shutting things, shutting certain cer searches down on X so that we don't see what happens? Phil, you're talking about an industry that can't self-regulate. Right. They can't even figure out a way to stop tracking people when it comes down to information that's being shared or where they're going or their consumer information. But on the other hand, you're also talking about an industry that has all the tools they need to be able to moderate social media platforms. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I think this is going to be the detrimental or perhaps the end of people scrolling because eventually you're going to get to a point where you're not going to be able to check and see whether this is real content or fake content. But the other side of this, Phil, is there's some exciting advances that are happening in artificial intelligence on the AGI side. And so in many cases, this is fear mongering. This is people that are not understanding how the technology can be used for good as well. So in the pop culture realm of things, it's going to get very scary in the near future. Elections are about to happen. Misinformation is being shared as a result of AGI running rampant on social media. But if we don't set the rules now, we are headed to a very, very dark place. Indeed. Well, we do understand. I, I believe Europe is kind of getting ahead of it as we speak. And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think North America has gotten there yes. yet. Um, but there are we, EU regulations, but yeah. a lot of that has to do with building guardrails about how companies can use some of this. So it's not necessarily going to give you and I a slap on the wrist when we start using artificial intelligence detrimentally. I think the two things we have to remember is currently, if you're on social media, flag everything that you think is inappropriate or not the real thing. Make sure you're part of the good in this situation, being a good digital corporate citizen. And the other thing is we have to talk to all the different people in our lives to indicate about how social scams are happening as a result of deep fakes. It's a big problem that's going to perpetuate more than just seeing Taylor Swift images on the internet. Right. And you know, these are these are the these are the, the bad ways that AI could be used. But you did mention some positive things that artificial intelligence could actually improve our lives. So for people who maybe, you know, a little bit scared of watching, you know, like iRobot or X Machina, you know, what are some of the good things uh, that AI could bring? 
or already artificial bringing. general intelligence yeah. has a, a massive implication on the way that everyone is going to be able to connect, learn, and start to move through their own jobs. The unfortunate part about it is the majority of the conversation right now is going to be about the disruptive behavior that many bad actors, for lack of a better word, are going to use this technology for. But again, it comes down to education and guardrails. So for one thing, nothing just goes viral on the internet anymore. If you're sharing some of these images, you're a part of the same culture. That's a part of the problem. If you're starting to forward some of these images and create your own, you're part of the problem as well. At a school level, we have to start talking to our kids about how this can be detrimental to the way that we communicate and understand that some of these technology companies will have to start to indicate how their technology is being used by other people by indicating at least a stamp or some sort of way technically that we can identify the fake versus the real. I'm Moe Rajan's media and tech consultant with Thinkstar.ca. Thanks so much for making us a bit smarter on this Sunday. Appreciate it. Thank you, Phil. Yes, sir.